You're listening to Mana for the Day. Good morning. Our scripture for today is found in Psalms chapter 16, verses 5 to 11. Let's read it together. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. One day, I found myself thinking that the quality of our resting or sleep relies greatly on how secure we feel in our room or in our home. Parents usually make their rounds around the house at night, checking if all the doors and windows are locked and checking the kids one by one before laying down for bed. The greater our guarantee for security, the more soundly we usually rest or sleep. The same can be said for the stillness or peace in our soul. The moments when we doubt or feel insecure of what the future holds are usually moments when we are robbed of our peace. We end up becoming restless, and worse, we even worry to a point that we don't feel rested even if we've had a full eight hours of sleep. I guess we can say an insecure heart is a restless heart. In our manna for the day, King David rejoices in the security he experiences in the presence of God. As he is assured of his portion in life, which is the Lord himself, he praises God and receives counsel from the Lord day and night. He is also so secure in the Lord that he goes on to declare that the Lord would keep his body even from decay. What confidence! But of course, David's spirit eventually entered God's presence and his body did eventually decay and turn to dust. One amazing truth about our passage is that this declaration of King David rings true to the perfect king that was, that was to come through the lineage of David, Jesus. Jesus Christ. This prophecy was fulfilled in Jesus as God the Father did not allow his body to see decay, but rather in power, raised them up from the grave in glorious victory. Jesus himself is our savior, our portion, our eternal pleasure in God's right hand. Are you looking for peace, Kapitid? Rest in the righteousness and victory of Jesus. Rest in him and he will make known to you the path of life. For Jesus himself declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. No matter how chaotic your day may be, let Jesus be the calm in your stormy heart. Let him speak over your heart and your spirit to be still. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for the security and peace that can only be found in Jesus. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that breathes new life and courage into our beings every day. And may we glorify you as we live lives surrendered and secured in the arms of our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with Marine Christian Fellowship.